Hey film fans, my name is David. This is Film Collector Archive and on today's video we are discussing Columbia Noir number five. I'm very excited to have gotten in this uh, fifth set from Indicator, which is a part of their Columbia Noir series. This is Columbia Noir number five. And as you can see here, the focus is on Humphrey Bogart, the great Humphrey Bogart. And from what I've seen via the newsletter from Indicator, um, they've just announced Universal Noir number one. So it appears that Indicator, they are switching tracks in terms of their film noir output and they are switching from uh, Columbia over to Universal. Does this mean the end of the Columbia Noir line? I would not be surprised if that's the case, but there has not been anything um, set in stone um, that indicator has stated that they are done with the Columbia Noir line. Um, but even if that is the case, we have five really, really solid sets from them on, uh, you know, from Columbia. And now again, we're switching over to Universal Noir uh, with their number one, Universal Noir number one box set announced for later this year. Um, so I'm very, very excited about that. Very excited to have this in hand. And what I wanna do is take the opportunity here to unbox this set so that you can see what's included here so that you can be more informed on whether or not this is a purchase that you'd like to make for your collection. Um, I do advise, as always, with these sets, because these are a limited run, that if this is something you are interested in, I would pick it up sooner rather than later. We've already had, I think, at least a couple of these film noir, uh, uh, excuse me, the, the Columbia noir sets uh, go OOP or out of print. Um, so definitely th these are ones to jump on um, sooner rather than later if this is something that you're interested in. And I'll tell you right now, if you're new to these sets or if you're new to Indicator, there is nothing in the physical media market right now that is being produced that is better than these sets from Indicator. This is the absolute top of the stack, in my opinion, in terms of anything that is being produced in the physical media market. So what we'll do is by popular demand, we are gonna go ahead and switch over to the overhead camera so we can give you a look inside this beautiful set from Indicator. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in on this beautiful set here from Indicator. Again, this is Columbia Noir number five, Humphrey Bogart. I'll go ahead and break off the uh, plastic here so we can get a much better look at the set. All right, so here we have uh, some really great artwork. We have the belly band here. Let's go ahead and slip that off. Great photo of uh, Humphrey Bogart there. Let's go ahead and focus here on the, uh, what's called the belly band here uh, for a second. So we have a listing of the films there on the front as well as the rating label. Again, a listing of the films there and indicator limited edition we have number 2809 of 6000 so 6000 units is the total print run on this edition and i love the uh, indicator band the color band there as well and then you get a nice um, poster image of all of the films included as well so six films in total all right coming back to the box nice hefty box here I love the very clean aesthetic of the cover with uh, one of the, well in this case, the main actor from the set, but each of the uh, included photographs or, or covers on each of these sets has been just simply stunning. Um, I love the design language with these sets. Here if we go to the side, we have Columbia Noir number five, again very clean, very nice looking. And uh, this spans from spine numbers 324 to all the way to 329. And here is a look at 
uh, the inside of the set, what's included. So not only do we have each of the films, but we have the beautiful uh, Perfect Bound 120 page book. Um, I just love the uniformity of these sets. You get the films and then the 120 page book. Um, just for a film collector, this is just, at least to me, this is just everything. I love every little detail about these sets from Indicator. So let's go ahead and we'll place the box uh, to the side there. And we'll just go through these uh, one at a time, give you a look at the artwork, and, um, and then we'll take a look at the book at the end. So here we have the first film. We have Dead Reckoning with Humphrey Bogart and the great Elizabeth Scott. Um, she is an absolute uh, mainstay with um, uh, film noir. Uh, and this is John Cromwell's Dead Reckoning. Um, so really wonderful. You'll see all throughout we get beautiful poster art, not only on the cover, but also on the inside. On the left there you see we get another beautiful uh, reproduction of the uh, some original poster art. And then some great, uh, a great image there of Elizabeth Scott with Humphrey Bogart. And the uh, disc art there. Now you will notice that this is region B. In fact, let's take a look on the, oh, and I, I should actually show the back of this anyways. Um, here is a list of uh, the films. And then you will notice here, this is a region B release. You can see just a slew of uh, special features here. A listing of the films, the year, the runtime, um, and then all of these are in black and white. Now, in regards to Region B, if you're new to collecting, um, don't let the Region B markings scare you off. There's a really easy way to deal with that, and that is by purchasing a region-free player, which is what I recommend every time. A region-free player is the best way to go. That way you can get any title you want. Um, region A, Region B, does not matter. Um, and uh, there's a lot of great ways to get a region free player. My favorite is a company called 220 Electronics. They sell region free players for about $150. You can get a really nice uh, region free player, uh, Blu-ray player. If you want to go one step further, you can get a, um, I, I have a Sony region free um, 4K player. Now the 4K format is region free, but Blu-ray is not, or and DVD are not. Um, the region-free 4K player that I got was $309 from 220 Electronics. Um, I will try and remember and put in the uh, description, I'll, I'll try and remember to put a link to uh, 220 Electronics and you can look at their site. They are really wonderful. Um, but yes, a region-free player is how you deal with the uh, different region coded or region locked releases. All right, sorry for that, but let's get back to Dead Reckoning here. So yes, a region B release. And then on the back, you have a listing of the special features and you get a nice little, um, I love these little sayings, there's no compromise here. And then a listing of the supplements as they pertain to this film specifically. This is from 1947 with a runtime of 100 minutes and is in black and white. Up next, we have uh, obviously Humphrey Bogart in Knock on Any Door. Um, and this is directed by Nicholas Ray. Um, and Nicholas Ray is one that I've, uh, I've been getting more and more into his work. He's directed Bogart before. Um, and uh, he's, he's had other, uh, so there's uh, In a Lonely Place, and then also um, They Live by Night, which I have via the Criterion Collection as another title I can think of off the top of my head that is uh, Nicholas Ray directed. Um, uh, yeah, so great, great team here with Bogart and uh, Nicholas Ray, and here we have a nice reproduction, again, of the original poster art, as we also get here on the inside. 
take a look at some more great uh, Humphrey Bogart photography there and the disc art featuring the same pose there with him at the table with the gun and looking on the back the pulse beat of a great metropolis 1949 runtime of 100 minutes and it is in black and white next up humphrey bogart in tokyo joe uh, this is directed by stuart heisler there's a uh, the artwork on the cover and on the inside great artwork there and the disc art going to the back Bogart at his deadliest um, this is from 1949 with a runtime of 89 minutes and is in black and white all right halfway through we are we have arrived here at uh, Humphrey Bogart in uh, Sirocco um, and this is directed by Curtis Bernhardt beyond Casablanca in Damascus destiny in a low-cut gown beckons from the devil's doorway that could not possibly sound more film noir <laughs> all right some more original artwork there great photograph I love these photographs that are used in the uh, behind the discs here there is the disc art all right rounding the final corner here this is second to last we have the family secret um, that this has uh, John Derrick and Lee J Cobb one of my all-time favorites as well as Jody Lawrence um, and this is directed by Henry Levin the type face on that is really really small but I believe that's Henry Levin one mad raging moment behind the roadhouse and a lifetime of regret really fantastic art I cannot get enough of the art that they use on these the original marketing materials and whatnot um, some more great art there there is our photograph which uh, does not feature Bogart I have not seen the film but he's he doesn't uh, get uh, billing here either top billing here so this might be more of a uh, bit part I'm, I'm wondering um, and then on the back here from uh, this is from 1951 runtime of 85 minutes and is in black and white all right the last film we have featured here uh, Rod Steiger and Jan Sterling and then we have Humphrey Bogart build here on the top of the poster uh, or halfway up the poster I guess I should say the harder they fall um, trying to see this is directed by Mark Robson the only thing that's on the square is the ring itself if you thought on the waterfront hit hard wait till you see this one all right Humphrey Bogart in his most power-packed role gotta love all the marketing lines from this era I absolutely love it all right great poster art great uh, photograph of mr. Bogart and uh, runtime on this final film uh, this is from 1956 with a runtime of 109 minutes a little bit long for a for a film noir title and uh, is also in black and white so again each of these films are black and white no there's no color films included in this set and uh, last but not least we have oh, these books are just so wonderful just to hold them in hand is is wonderful um, these are 100 this is a 120 page perfect bound book you can see we have the marking here of Columbia Noir number five I'm sorry if any of this is not um, focusing super well I think you should be able to see that 
it's an interesting thing. My, I, so I'm filming with my iPhone and for some reason, I don't know if it's because I'm shooting specifically in 4K, it wants to turn the flashlight on while I'm filming. I don't know what the utility is. There might be a setting where I can turn that off, but maybe let me know in the comments what you think about this filming. Is the light annoying or I don't know, maybe it adds more clarity. We'll kind of roll with it. Um, but yes, a beautiful, beautiful book here. Um, always features wonderful uh, artwork, just a whole world of uh, essays and photographs and marketing images and info on each of the films. A collector's dream come true. A student of film. Uh, any student of film should just be flocking towards these sets. And a great uh, two-page spread image there at the end of uh, Humphrey Bogart. And then the uh, back of the book there. And that is a... Uh, it does kind of, I'm not going to be able to open this up all the way, but that image does spread across there. So that's really, really nice. Beautiful, beautiful book. Really beautiful presentation here. So there's the, uh, the book, The Harder They Fall, The Family Secret. Sirocco. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that one right. Um, Tokyo Joe. Knock on any door. And Dead Reckoning. Oh, maybe I can get this last one in. All right, and then Need to include the belly band there. All right, so this is Columbia Noir number five, Humphrey Bogart from the always amazing Indicator. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. Uh, as always, I'm so excited about these sets coming from Indicator. Really happy to have this in the collection. I'm looking forward to jumping in immediately on these films. Um, I'm a big Humphrey Bogart fan and to see that he was the focus on this particular collection uh, was like Christmas morning. I love the films of Humphrey Bogart and to be able to have some uh, new discoveries here and uh, first time watches will be really wonderful. Um, let me know down in the comments, are you looking forward to the Universal Noir collection? I know I certainly am and uh, you can count on coverage of those sets on this channel that will absolutely happen. I'm a huge fan of Indicator and uh, what they're producing and so definitely uh, stay tuned to, to this channel for more coverage there. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you like talking physical media, film, film collecting, um, that type of thing, especially boutique label collecting, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and until next time, I hope you're able to watch a lot of great films.